These are Americans on their way to the battlefront of democracy. Fighting men, dedicating their lives to securing a better world for all. Soldiers of America. But we have another army. The men in plants and factories producing weapons for our fighting forces in an ever-growing flood. Our soldiers of production. And behind all these stand the broad, rich acres of America. And the men who grow our food, produce vital raw materials, and give their sons that this land may remain free. This is the story of one such American farmer. This is Farmer Henry Brown, age 38, father of three children, farming 40 acres. This year, Henry Brown is growing more on his farm than ever before. And to get their work done these fine summer days, he and his family have to be up with the sun. This is young Henry doing the milking. This year, for the first time, they have a cow. And young Henry is raising the calf as his own. This is going to be the best calf in the county. Milk for breakfast, and eggs too. Sis is raising 20 hens, most all good layers. Those that aren't good layers will make good eaters, she says. Last year, there was just the same old cornbread and fat pack for breakfast. Filled you up all right, but didn't really build strong, healthy bodies. Young Henry grows like Johnson grass. But even so, he's already begun to fill out. Father's got plenty to do today. Not that every farmer doesn't always have plenty of work. But this year it's different. Different because this year it isn't just cotton and corn. The government man said we needed more fats and oil to make up for what the Japs got. So Farmer Brown thought if peanuts were really needed, he'd try 15 acres of them. Sort of figured, too, it would be good for a man to try his hand at a new kind of crop. Yes, a good farmer, with respect for his land and the job it has to do. Last fall, he put lime and phosphate on 20 acres of the poorest part of his farm. And now both he and his country will benefit from the better crop he'll harvest. If the weather holds, Henry figures on making a really fine crop of peanuts. Before going out to help for the cotton shopping, Mother tends her garden a bit. There's not much here that will be sold, but there's a lot here that will be eaten this summer, and some that's going to be put away for next winter. No, sir, the Browns won't be depending on a grocery store. They'll leave canned things for people in cities who just can't grow their own vegetables. This is a pretty good farmer, too. She certainly works hard tending her chickens. Must be worth the trouble, though, because she's got a mighty healthy flock. acres of land. Not particularly good land either. A barn that isn't big or even new. And no tractor. Just a team of mules, an understanding of the earth and things that grow, 
and long hours of hard work for everyone. Doesn't seem like much, but these are the sort of things that make a farmer, like putting a new board on the barn when it's needed, and saving those burlap fertilizer bags last fall. Now we need them badly, and we're glad they weren't thrown away. And because his farm machinery was greased and put under cover when not in use, it will probably last for the duration, and that's important. Because as long as our factories are turning out tanks and guns, we just have to make everything last, even the land. Oh, yes, the land can be wasted. If Farmer Brown hadn't planted those peanuts and rows following the contours of the slope, rain could wash away both his crop and his land. And right now, this land of Farmer Brown and all the other farmers is mighty important to our country because we need more peanuts for oil, more long staple cotton, more food. So it's up to everyone to make the most of every acre of land and every bushel of seed that goes into it. Saturday afternoon. And of course, this is the day farmers go to town. Sister sells some eggs, and mother and father market, and like to visit with friends. But even so, it's rather early. This must be something special today. through town. What's this all about? What's got sister so excited? Well, no wonder they didn't stop in town. No wonder those youngins are excited. It's a visit to Big Brother, who's a cadet training with the 99th Pursuit Squadron. This is something special, all right. Why, maybe there'll even be a chance to watch him fly.
Farmer Brown and his wife are mighty proud of their son, and so are we. But we're also proud of Farmer Brown. Proud of him because he's doing his job, an important job, raising more livestock, saving his land, and growing more of the things we need. And proud of him just for being an American that we can count on, at a time when every American has an important job to do.